Armady's Keeper of Boundaries. It's a new synchro monster that's coming out in Judgment of Light, and it's a light. Yes, that was a very, very bad pun that was intended. Uh, it's a fiend. It has 23 attack, 15 defense. And here's how you make it. It's a synchro. One tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters. If this card attacks or is attacked, your opponent cannot activate cards or card effects until the end of the damage step. Uh, pretty much, you. I just consider this monster as the ultimate attack for game card. Like, you have less than 23, you have 23 or less, okay, you have a level 4, or you're able to make, you're able to synchro summon this monster, and if it makes it to the field and you attack, it's, it's over. Well, provided that they don't have Baylor. But they have to have it. And I think if it's that late in the game, well, they probably either used it or they probably just drew into it. But I just call this card, you know, the ultimate attack for game card. Because I don't see what else you would use this card. I mean, it's 23 attack, so it's not that high. It's not, it's not that small, but it's, again, the attack is not that high. And... No cards can be activated until the end of the damage step when this card attacks or is attacked. So that means it can't get Deep Prism, it can't get Mirror Force, it can't get Magic Cylindered. What else? You can't drop Gores, you can't drop Trag. Wait till the end of the damage step. I take that I take those last two comments back. You can drop gores and you can drop track. But I'm saying this is why you would use this card for attack for game. Uh you can't drop Swift's character, you can't drop Battle Fader. Those are the two cards that you can't drop. Sorry. Yeah. Um but yes. Uh like I said, I think this that's the only reason for this card. I don't see any other benefits. I was just if they if this card makes it successfully on the field and it doesn't get Baylord or breakthrough skilled or skill drained yada 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 uh this just the ultimate attack for game card if they have no mo oh yeah and if they have no monsters in the field you gotta take that into consideration too but that's pretty much it I mean it's not necessarily a good card but then again it's not a horrible card it's a okay card basically it's it's I consider it wild heart with muscle but wild heart only stop trap cards where well, this stops all cards after the damage until the end of the damage step so yeah uh, please below in the comment section write down your thoughts how you feel on this card it's probably going to be at most like probably a two dollar card, at most a two dollar card. But then it could probably go down to like a dollar, because you know that sneak peek hype. Everything that's supposed to be a dollar is magically three, and then a month later it's sixty nine cents on the internet somewhere. So uh, after the sneak peek and after like a week or two, it's probably going to go down to like a dollar or probably underneath a dollar on some websites online. But yeah, that's just going to wrap it up for this Yu-Gi-Oh! video, and subscribe for more videos. And I'm Game Fee Field of All Games, guys, and I'm out of here.